Alright, let's dive into the future of aviation, where sci-fi becomes reality, and hold on to your seats because what I'm about to reveal will leave you stunned. We're talking hypersonic flight, yes, faster than the speed of sound. We're talking Elon Musk, SpaceX, and other ambitious companies that are working to change the entire landscape of global travel. If you think Concorde was fast, think again. This is next level speed, where New York to London becomes a 90-minute commute. So buckle up, because we're about to hit Mark 5 and beyond. The hypersonic dream, faster than your favorite Netflix episode. Imagine this, you wake up in New York, casually grab a coffee and decide to hit London for lunch. Impossible, not for long. Companies like Hermes are dead set on making this fantasy a reality with their hypersonic aircraft. We're not talking about shaving off a few minutes from your flight. Oh no, this is New York to London in 90 minutes. That's faster than watching a movie like The Avengers on a long-haul flight. You'll be landing before Iron Man even saves the day. Hermes isn't just daydreaming here. They're hard at work developing a next-gen prototype plane called Quarter Horse. And this isn't your average experimental aircraft. Quarter Horse is designed to break speed records, powered by their breakthrough engine named Chimera, a secret weapon they've already built. The Chimera engine is named after a mythical fire-breathing beast, and it's just as fierce. Unlike your regular jet engines, Chimera is a hybrid that combines both turbojet and ramjet technology, giving the aircraft unmatched flexibility and speed. Here's how it works. The turbojet handles takeoff and initial acceleration, just like any other plane. But once it's in the air, it switches to ramjet mode, pushing the plane to supersonic speeds. This means that Quarter Horse can take off from a regular runway like a normal jet. But once it's airborne, it switches gears and hits speeds so fast that even the clouds are left wondering, where'd it go? With this design, Hermes isn't just focused on breaking the sound barrier. They're aiming to make high-speed flight practical, starting with standard airport takeoffs. Quarter Horse isn't just a science experiment. It's a serious step toward the future of commercial and military hypersonic aircraft. And here's the kicker. They did all this for just $18 million. Let that sink in. That's the kind of money Hollywood spends on an average movie. But these guys built a rocket ship that could revolutionize air travel. Meanwhile, NASA and the US Air Force are backing them like they're the favorite horse in this race. This isn't just some flight of fancy, it's happening. Enter Elon Musk, the man who might break the sky. But wait, if you thought Hermes was ambitious, you've clearly never heard of Elon Musk. Yeah, the guy who put a car in space and wants to colonize Mars. Well, surprise, rumor has it, that SpaceX is working on something so secretive and so advanced that even military insiders are keeping their mouths shut. It's called the X-1, a hypersonic UFO fighter jet that might just redefine air combat as we know it. Imagine this, 4,600 miles per hour. That's right, it's like getting strapped to a rocket and blasting off. And guess what? The X-1 fighter jet is almost invisible to radar. This is more than just speed. It's about total air dominance. While everyone else is still figuring out the basics, Elon Musk is out here playing chess, positioning himself miles ahead of the competition. The X-1 isn't just a hypersonic jet. It's designed to reach speeds that rival rockets, and it's equipped with radar evading technology, essentially cloaking it from enemy detection. This makes it almost impossible to track or stop. On top of that, the X-1 features fuel-efficient engines inspired by SpaceX's Merlin 
and Raptor engines. Yep, you heard that right. The same engines that sent astronauts to the International Space Station are now powering a cutting-edge fighter jet. This combination of hypersonic speeds and stealth capabilities gives the X-1 a level of superiority in the sky that's unprecedented. Whether it's in military operations or potential space exploration applications, this jet isn't just a step forward. It's leaps and bounds ahead of anything we've seen before. It doesn't stop there. Musk is rumored to be throwing in laser weapons. Yeah, you heard me, lasers. We're talking about a jet straight out of Star Wars here. And while other nations scramble to keep up, the US military is already sitting pretty with Musk's vision. This thing could potentially strike enemies from thousands of miles away before they even know what hit them. But here's where I start scratching my head a bit. As cool as the X-1 sounds, we've got some unanswered questions. I mean, we're still trying to figure out how to keep these hypersonic jets from melting under the extreme heat they generate. At Mach 5, we're talking about temperatures so hot that it could melt steel if you're not careful. Sure, Musk has his secret sauce, but let's not pretend there aren't some serious engineering challenges here. The Concorde. Old school cool, but not fast enough. Before we go further, let's pay some respect to the Concorde, the OG of high-speed passenger planes. It was sleek, it was fast, and it made everyone in the 70s feel like they were living in the future. Concorde could hit 1,354 miles per hour, which is twice the speed of today's commercial airliners, cutting your New York to London trip to just under three hours. But as awesome as it was, it never reached hypersonic speeds. It's like driving a Ferrari in a world where people are now building rocket ships. Concorde retired in 2003, and when it did, it left behind a massive void in high-speed aviation that nobody has been able to fill. Until now. Companies like Hermes, SpaceX, and a few others are in a heated race to become the next Concorde, but this time they're aiming to be faster, better, and stronger. Where the Concorde was limited by things like noise regulations, remember the infamous sonic boom that restricted it from flying over land? These new generation planes are being designed to fly above the sound barrier. With technology so advanced, radar systems can barely detect them. These aren't just faster versions of the Concorde. They are hypersonic aircraft that push the boundaries of what's possible. While Concorde was an icon of luxury and speed in its time, these new planes aim to shatter those records and make supersonic and even hypersonic travel more accessible, efficient, and quieter. The tech that makes it possible. Chimera and beyond. Let's geek out for a second, because the tech behind these new hypersonic planes is mind-blowing. Hermes's Chimera engine isn't just about getting you from point A to point B quickly. It's a turbine-based combined cycle engine, which means it has the best of both worlds, a turbojet for takeoff and a ramjet for when you need to hit those insane speeds. The real magic behind these hypersonic planes lies in their cooling systems. At Mach 5, the speed is so extreme that the friction between the plane and the air becomes a serious issue. This friction heats the air entering the engine to temperatures so high that it could actually destroy the engine. We're talking about heat levels that could melt steel. That's where Hermes steps in with a game-changing solution specialized pre-coolers. These pre-coolers are designed to rapidly cool the superheated air before it enters the engine, allowing the engine to keep running smoothly even at hypersonic speeds. Think of it like a high-tech air conditioner for the engine, preventing it from overheating when it's flying faster than a bullet. 
This innovation is critical because without it, the intense heat generated at these speeds would make hypersonic flight impossible. The pre-coolers enable the aircraft to sustain those extreme velocities, making Mach 5 flight not just a dream, but a reality. And here's another fun fact. They didn't build this thing from scratch. Hermes used off-the-shelf components, including the General Electric J85 turbojet, which has been around for ages. Talk about a Frankenstein's monster of engineering. It's part classic, part futuristic, and all genius. The big picture, the future of travel and defense. So, what does all this mean for you and me? Well, we're standing at the edge of a new era in aviation. Imagine being able to fly from New York to Tokyo in less time than it takes to binge watch a few episodes of your favorite Netflix series. That's not just a game changer for commercial travel, it's a complete overhaul of how we think about long distance transportation. But the impact goes beyond just commercial flights. This is also a military revolution. Hypersonic jets have the potential to deliver strikes from continents away before the enemy even knows what hit them. The X-1, with its hypersonic speed, stealth capabilities, and deadly weaponry, could become the most dangerous thing in the sky. This level of air superiority means instant dominance, whether it's in the skies above a battlefield or across the globe. In short, we're talking about a future where long-distance travel becomes as quick and routine as a commute, and military power is redefined by who can control the skies at hypersonic speeds. This isn't science fiction, it's happening right now. But, and here's my personal take, there's still a lot to figure out. We've got environmental concerns, safety challenges, and let's be real, no one wants to hear a sonic boom every time a plane flies over their house. Plus, with all the hype around these jets, let's not forget how many hurdles there are in creating affordable hypersonic passenger flights. Right now, it's looking more like a billionaire's playground than something the average person can enjoy. In the end, it's clear that the future of aviation is here, and it's moving faster than we ever imagined. Hermes, SpaceX, and others are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and we're closer than ever to making hypersonic travel a reality. But as much as I'm excited about boarding a plane and landing halfway across the world in the blink of an eye, I'm also curious to see if we can really pull it off. Will we live in a world where hypersonic jets are as common as 747s? Or will this technology be reserved for military use and the ultra-rich? Only time will tell. But for now, the race to the skies has never been more thrilling. So grab your popcorn, because this is just the beginning of a wild ride.